Hey everybody, this is Robin from Violet Botanical Skincare, and welcome back to Work With Me Wednesday. You know I love it when you join me in the lab, but today we're in my office, and I wanna to talk to you about an African healing herb that I love for the skin, and that's rooibos, R-O-O-I-B-O-S, and it is grown exclusively in South Africa. Now, you've probably heard it as rooibos tea and it is a healthy tea beverage as a matter of fact it is the national drink of south africa and some other names that you will hear it called are um, red bush tea or red tea or bush tea but what i love about rooibos so much is that it has potent antioxidant activity in the polyphenols and that's in the flavonoids and you know those flavonoids are the plant compounds that help cellular activity and fight off free radicals now you know free radicals are what are created by uv rays that want to damage our cells and our skin cells and they also have anti-inflammatory activity and anybody who has eczema you know that that inflammation is an immune response to something that has irritated you uh, rooibos also has minerals it has zinc it has iron it has calcium potassium magnesium manganese it also has vitamins vitamin c vitamin d rooibos is also antibacterial now if you've ever had a wound or if you've ever had that eczema get infected you know how important it is to have something that is antibacterial because then that helps with wound healing and pain relief now there are two types of rooibos there is red rooibos and this is fermented and it has alpha hydroxy which is good to help uh, rejuvenate your skin and then there is green rooibos and green rooibos is unfermented now don't get this confused with green tea because rooibos actually is caffeine free and rooibos has low tannins and it doesn't have that bitter taste and green rooibos actually has more antioxidants in it so as I said it is a healthy tea beverage now when you drink rooibos it's good for tension and allergies and digestive problems but you can also rub rooibos on your skin and use it topically and topically it relieves eczema symptoms acne sunburn you know those are all inflammatory activities so how i like to use it i do drink it as a tea and i also like to infuse it in an oil and i'll either use it just as a straight body oil or i'll put it in like a body butter or a cream and use it because then i know i'm getting antioxidant activity i'm getting anti-inflammatory activity and i'm getting antibacterial activity and for someone like myself who suffer with eczema those things are very important to me and so this is why I wanted to um, just introduce rooibos to you as an herb more than just a tea. So again, we have our red rooibos, which is fermented. And then we have our green rooibos, which is unfermented. So thank you for joining me today with Work With Me Wednesday. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and why don't you sign up for our newsletter? The sign up information is below. Sign up for our newsletter so that you'll get these videos each week, plus other uh, fun uh, treats each week in your mailbox, and that you won't miss any of these videos. So again, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next week.